I've had this on my mind for quite some time now, but with the current announcement of Batman Arkham Shadow, it really kind of has me thinking. Why haven't they released a remaster for Arkham Origins? I mean, we've gotten ports of Batman Arkham Asylum and Arkham City on PS4 and PS5 and the newer and you know the newer consoles and all of that stuff. But Arkham Origins, I I think it is on PS4 technically, but it was the same game. It didn't really get a remaster. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But I think the thing is, is that Arkham Origins gets so shafted considering everything. I mean, one, it it never really got a proper sequel. I don't count the I don't count the black gate on the DS. That shit does not count. Sorry, Liam. Um, but so the um the thing is is that Origins couldn't even get a sequel. So the least that the least that they could do is they could give it a remaster, but they haven't even done that yet. So I think the reason that I'm here is that I see that there's all this Arkham content, like there's you know the Suicide Squad, Arkham Shadow. Apparently, there is going to be like a console Arkham game coming soon. Apparently, um, and I, I just think personally, like. Now is the time. Like, like Arkham Origins was not as good as Arkham City, but it was not meant to be as good as Arkham City. And I think genuinely, and I mean it when I say this, Arkham Origins was gas. And I think it deserves a remaster. I mean, overall, the story is pretty basic it's like your standard batman story but there's a twist because assassins were were hired by air quotes black mask to take out batman to kill batman and uh, and at this point it's basically kind of like a year it's basically kind of like a, it's it's like a year one story because the cops don't really know much about batman the criminals don't fear him yet this is very much a batman that's still in you know layman's terms green um he's not really experienced yet and he's still finding his footing um he's kind of he's kind of still just a myth at this point but they know that something is happening because while it was black mask hire um all these all these assassins to kill him and you get cool fights against Bane. You get a badass fight with 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 Slade. I mean, Arkham Origins was pretty good. It's just they reused the Arkham City map but made it slightly smaller, which is fine. Which is fine. But like, the thing is, I think for a for a prequel game that was not made by Rocksteady, Arkham Arkham Origins was pretty faithful. Like people say. There's three Arkham games. No, there no, there's four. There's four. I will not tolerate Arkham Origins slander because there there are four Arkham games, not three. Just because Arkham Origins is a prequel does not mean that it is um does not mean that it's not part of the series as a whole. Um and the the thing that I will say is that as a kid, I, 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 actually, I played this more than I played through Asylum, actually. Because I would always, like, replay City and Origins more than I would replay Asylum. I don't know why. I guess because Asylum's just, I mean, it's fun. It's a classic. But I just had more, I think I had more fun playing through City and playing through, like, you know, Origins. But, um. The point that I'm making is is that Arkham Origins, when it came out, I remember a lot of people didn't like it, but then there was that group of people that loved it. And then Arkham Origins really started to gain traction after Arkham Knight came out, and the fan base was like divided over over that game because you either love that game or you think it's terrible. Um, there's kind of no in between, except for now after. After, you know, Suicide Squad, most people kind of just agree that Arkham Knight wasn't that bad. Um, but the, um, 
the thing is, is that I feel like with Arkham Origins, like, there was a fan base, like, people were playing the uh, multiplayer games where, like, you know, Batman and, like, Robin were, like, you know, fighting to, like, take down crime. Like, there was, like, multiplayer online modes, and from what I heard, because I never played them, because my, uh, my, my mom didn't get Wi-Fi until I was, like, in my, like, late teens. Um, I heard that the multiplayer mode was fun. Um, but so I like to say that Arkham Origins has its fans, and and I am one of them. I would wait in line for hours to to get like a you know deluxe collector's ed, edition of an Arkham Origins remastered game for sure, for sure. And I would encourage everyone to go and buy it when it if and when it ever came came out. But I don't think it's gonna come out, man. I really don't, and that's sad. That's sad. Because Arkham Origins, at its core, is a really good game. It's a it's a really good game, and I know that Rocksteady said that they, said that they're done making Batman games, but WB Mon Montreal kind of needs a win right now because Gotham Knights critically did not did not do well, and so they they kind of need to go back to the well. I feel like, and Rocksteady is not using their 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 engine currently. So why don't if they're not going to make a proper sequel to Arkham Origins because Arkham Shadow does not count? I don't want to hear there. There's going to be that one person that comments on this video. Arkham Shadow is the te is technically the sequel to Arkham Origins. No, it's not. Do not give me that. Do not give me that. Do not. Do not give me that. That is not true. That is not true. Anyway, the point that I'm making is, is that WB has the means. If they're not going to give us a proper Arkham Origins sequel, at least remaster it for modern day and put it out onto the modern consoles. Because we got Arkham... Asylum City and Night on Switch before we got an Arkham Origins remaster, which is which is crazy. Literally, Arkham fans I've seen it have said at 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 this point they don't even want a new they don't even want a new game. They just want a remaster of Arkham Origins, and I happen to happen to agree. I think that's what I want the most too out out of anything. Because honestly, I don't want a new, I don't want a new Batman game. The Arkham series is near and dear to my heart, and I hate seeing the way that it's gone. And it just pisses me off. I don't even want to get into it. That'll probably be its own separate video. But the point that I'm making is, listen, WB or Whoever is currently in charge of the Arkham franchise, listen. Hashtag remaster Arkham Origins. It'll make you a ton of money. And if you and if you agree with me, make sure to like and subscribe. See you guys on the next one. I love y'all.